Part three. Here we have the chart of Scientology. And right at the bottom, we've got this thing called a purification process. It's the first thing that you have to do before you can do any of this other nonsense. Because Scientology is the fastest growing religion, there are a lot of people that were also interested in this program. So first they showed us some videos of people who have gone through the cleanse to tell us about their experience. My mind is definitely clear and I can focus. I can see colors better, I can hear better. So basically you get superpowers. How is it even possible to hear better? How do you hear better unless you have like hearing aid? Oh, let me tell you, Michael. We got five treadmills, a sauna, one scale, one shower, and ooh, a Christmas tree. So it's basically worse than a Planet Fitness membership. And more expensive. I wonder how much that costs. The cost is uh, $2,500. You're going to sit here and sweat a bunch of toxins and whatever, and you're going to sweat other things. Okay, I'm not saying I don't trust you guys. But we don't trust you. So we decided to call you out. Again, just like we did in episode two. What do you think science says about sweating out toxins? I don't know, Ben. How about you show me? Here's what a simple Google search of can you sweat out toxins looks like. Can you actually sweat out toxins? The simple answer to that is no, you cannot. So it's going to be half an hour here and then four and a half hours sauna. You be in there for four and a half hours? Yeah. It's healthy to be in the sauna for four and a half hours a day. Like, yeah. guess what? Okay. Totally healthy. This is a study from Harvard. Do not spend more than 20 minutes at a time in a sauna. First time users should spend a maximum of five to 10 minutes. Yeah, they want you to do this program every day for 21 days, every day. No breaks. At all. Not a single break. The purification is supposed to come out through your sweat? Yeah. The amount of toxins that you actually sweat out are so minuscule that they mean nothing. It will be something like, one ten thousandth of a microgram in the entire sweat from your body. It's literally nothing. So technically they're right. You actually can sweat out toxins. It's just a little weird though because they advertise it a little bit differently in the program. We had one person who had like a lot of chemicals. The towels were like, had like some blue prints at the end of coming, the day, coming from, his coming from the body. It was continuing to come out, so we continued until it came up. Cool. And that was only part one. And here's part two. This is getting rid of things and building with new things that are natural, that are good for you. So these are the vitamins. It gives you how many vitamins you're going to take. And we were able to get a hold of that list. It says the top vitamin you're supposed to take in here is niacin. According to doctors, the daily amount that adult males are supposed to take 16 milligrams a day. <laughs> Look at this. According to this book, this is how ridiculous this is. 5,000 a day. That's 250 times as much as you're supposed to take. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that sounds like the definition of false advertising. Dude, why haven't they been sued for this yet? Well, it's because they believe that this is going to make them better. Remember, these guys call themselves a religion, Michael. Yeah, but that shouldn't matter. Just because they believe it to be true, doesn't let them get away with false advertising. Red Bull gives you wings. I 100% believe that Red Bull gives me wings. So this is a ridiculous situation, but Red Bull actually got sued for $13 million when the drinker did not receive the wings he was promised. If Scientology wasn't allowed to call themselves a religion anymore, they would get annihilated. Because if Red Bull's not able to get away with this, then Scientology's definitely not gonna be able to get away with this. $2,500. Yeah. For instance, me, my thing is marijuana. I feel sometimes out of place or I don't feel like I'm 100% there and just boom, like that, I just forget what I'm talking about and it's really embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Because I like understand. I don't even have to be high anymore for that to happen. I really look forward to like not having that feeling anymore because I'm really tired of being forgetful all the time or not remembering. Right. Yeah, I totally understand that. Well, that can be handled for sure. There was no way I was going to let this guy leave like this. So what do you think about that purification program? Oh, it's cool, bro. I really want to do it. Right now, it's just that's just a lot of money. Yeah, because it's 2500 so that's a lot. But like I said, the, the grass is probably green on the other side, bro. So this guy literally said, I don't have enough money to pay for this, but there's hope that I will get better if I do this program. So he's literally going to give his life savings to this program and hope that this makes him better. It's going to make him worse. Though. It is going to make him worse. It's going to make him way worse. Some people have like manifestations of like feeling numb somehow in a part of the body. 
and then that's some anesthetic that is coming out. That's not the anesthetic coming out. You're literally just describing the effects of what it is to be dehydrated. You're not supposed to be in a sauna for four hours. I have seen some people, honestly, that, that look like they are drunk. Like, oh. while they're doing the program. <laughs> Dude, that's hard, bro. You're yeah. not supposed to do that. Until you get the money, have you thought about maybe getting a Planet Fitness membership? It's only $10 a month, and they have all the treadmills. I could take you with my guests sometime if you want to come. Most of the supplements you can take at a grocery store. Yeah, we could do this program at Planet Fitness just for, like, for free, you know? Oh, God. Put your number in my phone. What was your experience like? Like, can you stay in a sauna for four and a half hours? Easy. Uh-huh. If you decide that that's what you're doing, it's easy. Yeah. You exercise and you do it. Yeah. Whatever you decide to do, you do it. You do backflips, you do it. That's it awesome. It doesn't matter if somebody says you can't do it. Even if it feels like you're dying in the sauna, you just gotta push through it. We've been talking a lot of crap about you guys Scientology. So me and Michael, we thought it wouldn't be fair unless we went out and actually tried this for ourselves. So we're currently on our way to a sauna. And we're gonna try the cleanse program. We're gonna see what it's like to sit in the sauna for four and a half hours. Can you do it? We don't know, we're gonna find out. We just got in the sauna. We made it to one hour. We're still going, Michael. Hour two. What do you think about staying in a sauna for four and a half hours? Don't be stupid. Like, listen to your body and get out when you need to. But from what we've heard, it's totally safe though. It's completely 100% safe. You don't think so? No, I don't. You gotta be in four hours. Yeah, that that is not a smart move. Where did you get your research from? We were told not to look online for anything. Who told you? His name's Elrond Hubbard. Yeah. We were told that the research that says that it's bad for you is like fake news. Okay, good luck with that. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. That's what they told us. Quitting isn't an option, it's just, you just do it. Hour three, we're still going. I don't know, it looks like kind of blue. Nah, dude, it's just water. What do you mean? No freaking way. Holy shit! Dude, that fucking burns, man. What is that? Dude, I've been in here for so long. Dude, 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 dude. Dude, it's not good. Bro, I'm so blue now. Oh my god. Man, who thinks the toxins? Bro, I need what? to get out. Doesn't I need to get out. Get out. Yeah. What happened? Is that the toxins they're saying about or? Probably, man. I'll tell you this much, his bubble's gonna feel good in the morning. I'm all blue, man. He's gonna be shitting out blue. At least it's coming out when I ain't, right? Oh my god. Are you probably good? <gasps> no, I don't. Dude, man, even the peas blue, man. Well, turns out we were wrong. So we're in at hour four and Michael's just profusively sweating blue. It was terrible, dude. I felt like a smurf. Who knew? We were wrong about this entire video. Are you sorry. Right? Oh my god. You had it right. You can't sweat out your toxins. It is totally possible to sweat blue. Scientology, we're sorry. So we didn't we're know. We're sorry. We didn't know. You were right and we were wrong. You got it. I don't have it. Do you want the same time? Oh, shoot. Okay, don't move. Don't move. Go. Guys, I'm coming down. Oh. I'm coming, Michael! Oh, no. <laughs> that was sick!